Hey folks, welcome back to physics. In this video, you are going to learn about how to add and subtract vectors. By the end of this video, you'll be able to add and subtract vectors in one dimension. So first of all, adding scalars, something very easy, something you've been doing for a long time, right? That'd be something like two plus two equals four, one plus three also equals four, seven plus six equals 13, and so on and so forth. Adding vectors, on the other hand, is not. Why? Because direction makes things complicated. So taking two steps forward and two steps back is going to be added differently than taking two steps forward and another two steps forward, which is going to be added differently than two steps forward and then two steps to the left. So we're going to be talking in this video about how we add vectors. And I'm going to go ahead and start by talking about adding vectors in, in one dimension. So by that, I mean moving left or right and not up or down at all. So in this problem, we have Jim here, and Jim is going to walk two meters to the right, stop, and then walk another four meters to the right. So what I've done is I've gone and I've drawn my vectors for first my, two, my first two meters to the right, and then my second four meters to the right. And the way that I'm going to add them, add my two vectors, which I'm going to name vector A and vector B, the way I'm going to add them is by writing them out head to tail like I did in this image, and then just seeing how far away from zero I am. So I started at zero, it's going to be one end, and I ended at six, my other end. And so Jim, his new position is going to be six meters to the right. And you can see that I solved this problem by drawing a picture and most importantly by lining my vectors up head to tail. So the tail of the first vector is next to the head of the second. So let's go ahead and try another example. So in this one we have Dwight who's going to walk two meters to the right, stop, turn around, and next walk four meters to the left. So let's go ahead and draw those vectors into our picture. So we have Dwight starting at point zero, and he's going to walk two meters to the right. And so there's my first vector. I've got my head and my tail of my vector. Let's go ahead and then put in our second vector. And again, we're lining them up head to tail. So I'm starting at two meters with one end, and then I'm walking four meters to the left. So instead of pointing my vector to the right, as I did in my first problem, I'm going to draw it with my arrow pointing to the left. So we're going to go ahead, left four meters. And then I'm going to see where I am in relation to where I started and draw my resultant vector. So I started at zero and I ended up at negative two. And I know this, the way I know how to, I know how to draw the direction of this vector by starting where I started my first vector and ending where I ended my last vector. And so this vector is negative two meters. So hit Dwight's final position is negative two meters or a little bit more clearly, two meters to the left. And one other interesting thing you can see in this example is that we can use the sign on our vector, the positive or negative sign to show whether to show our direction. So if he is two meters, he's two meters to the right. If he's negative two meters, then he's at a position two meters to the left of where he started. So there you have it. You have learned how to do vectors in one dimension. Okay, so we have, you guys have learned how to add vectors. Now let's talk about how to subtract vectors. So example three, what is two meters to the right minus four meters to the left? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to circle that minus because that is super important. So the real trick is when we subtract one vector from another, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just flip the direction of our second vector, the vector being subtracted. So normally when I add two meters to the right and four meters to the left, what, I'll look like, what my picture will look like is this, as you just saw, and we'll end up at negative two meters. But we are flipping our four meters to the left. So what that means is that this is not right. 
Instead, I am going to take my vector, keep the length of four meters the same, but flip its direction. So I'm gonna draw it head to tail again, still, but going to the right, because the, the subtraction sign here, that minus sign means flip the direction of my vector. And so what I'll get is that two meters to the right minus four meters to the left gives me a final vector when added together of six meters to the right. I can also depict this just using my signs. So if I say, if I decide with my frame of reference that to the right is positive and to the left is negative, then what I can say is that two meters to the right is just positive two. And from our positive two, we are subtracting four meters to the left or negative four, giving me my final vector, which I'm gonna call C, as C equals two minus negative four, or C equals, again, six meters. And I don't need to put that to the right in there because from my frame of reference here, I know that to the right, that a positive sign means that I'm moving to the right. So again, when you subtract your vectors, just flip the direction of the vector, either change the sign or just flip the direction that your arrow. So let's talk takeaways. First of all, vectors are added head to tail. Secondly, when you subtract vectors, you just flip the direction of the vector being subtracted. Um, and we saw that in the previous example. And finally, we can use the sign of a vector to denote its direction. As long as we decide, at the, as long as we show somewhere in the picture which direction is positive and which one is negative. So there you have it, guys. You now know how to add and subtract vectors in one dimension. Go ahead and see if you can do it on your own. Good luck and happy solving.